At least thousand farmers have gathered at a ground in Baksar and they're protesting against the police brutality as well as asking for the camp compensation for their land. Look at the visuals that we're putting out on our screens as well. So amidst that land acquisition drought, remember there was a case of police brutality where you had police officials cracking down on these protesting farmers at midnight. Some of them were dragged, some of them were given blows by lattes. And now you have the farmers, at least thousand of them is what we're understanding, who've now gathered at a ground in Baksar and they're protesting against the police brutality. Remember, farmers have been protesting for almost two months now, asking for better compensation amidst this land acquisition drought. But there have been parallel developments as well, because we got you that story just yesterday where we showed you police brutality on these protesting farmers. It all happened at midnight. You had police officials barging in and then hitting these protesting farmers, dragging some of them as well. But first, let's understand what are the demands of these protesting farmers. Let me bring in my colleague Saurabh Rathor, who in fact has been tracking these developments for us from Baksar. Saurabh, as I said, a lot of questions were raised on that act of police brutality. What are the demands of the farmers today? Could you please repeat? Saurabh, if you can hear me this time around, as I said, a lot of questions and eyebrows were raised on that episode of police brutality. Now we are seeing almost 1,000 farmers who have gathered at a ground in Baksar protesting against the police brutality as well as asking for better compensation. What are their demands and what are they saying today? See, uh, the issue uh, uh, raised only after the midnight brawl by the Baksar police when it barged into the houses of uh, uh, of the farmers. Now thousands of farmers have uh, gathered here at the ground here in Baksar and uh, just uh, a few minutes most back uh, BJP delegation has arrived here. Uh, Samrat Chaudhary, who is the leader of opposition here in Bihar, uh, ex-agriculture uh, minister Amrin Pratap and uh, the MLA uh, and one MLA is here. Uh, soon uh, the Union Minister Ashwini Chabe will be visiting this place. Now these farmers have gathered here to uh, 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 to continue their protest. Actually they are uh, protesting for past 80 days and uh, now they are demanding that a proper compensation should be given to them because the compensation, compensation that they have been promised uh, is uh, uh, of the rates of 12 years back. So they are demanding that the, uh, the they should be compensated uh, on the basis of the current rates and also uh, they are asking for uh, the police officers uh, who were involved uh, in that midnight brawl to uh, get suspended. Uh, they are asking uh, the uh, Nitish government to take punitive actions against uh, all those policemen who barged into the houses of the farmers. So uh, both the issues are here. Uh, we can see the farmers are very much agitated and they are asking questions not only from the government, from the police officers also that what was the reason that they barged into the houses uh, in the midnight. Uh, now the delegation has come and soon uh, the Union Minister Ashwini Chaube who is the MP of this area uh, in Baksar will also arrive here. The farmers are uh, asking okay. questions from the politicians that where, where were they uh, for past 80 days when they were protesting. Uh, only when uh, this uh, incident came into light in the media, then only the politicians have started coming in. Uh, although uh, no one from uh, the government, whether it's JDU, RJD or Congress, the local MLA is of Congress, they have also, uh, none of them have come here. Uh, okay. It's only the BJP leaders uh, have have arrived today and uh, uh, the farmers are really agitated and they are asking questions for the politicians that uh, who will give justice to them. Okay, so we leave the conversation there. Keep a close eye on that story for us. We'll continue to come back to you right through the day.